Hey guys, how's it going? Well, it, as you can tell, something has happened. I don't know why I'm a clown. But yeah. I'm a clown. Revan, look, I'm a clown. Your favorite outfit in the game, my friend. Now you're probably wondering, what am I doing on top of the, uh, why am I on top of the sky? Oh, shit, hello, Wyvern. Uh, you're probably wondering, why am I up here on the, uh, Sky Island? Fighting these, uh, giant-ass Eastern-style dragons that look like they came from the never-ending story. Well, that was because I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I've actually found another Plantera Orb. But you're probably wondering, what's that got to do with you grinding, uh, Souls of Flight? Well... I have full turtle armor. That's right, full turtle shell armor. Also, my attackers also take full damage, it seems. Was not really looking at the, uh. Wasn't really looking at that not, not too much. I was like, hmm, this is pretty damn good armor. I like it. I feel nice in it. Mmm, yes. So, these Souls of Flight are going to be put away for now. As you can tell, I do not no longer need to craft any more Shroomite. And I'm going to put away this clown outfit before my friend Revan watches whenever, before Revan, while watching this video, decides to have a goddamn freak out. Or I make his eye twitch again. You'll understand if I ever told you that. If you would understand. You'll understand once I tell you thy story. So, a long time ago, uh, so back in the day when me and Revan used to play Terraria together, we've been still trying to play Terraria ever since. Uh, also, I've also crafted more flask. I need to get rid of this. Put away the steampunker's hat. I'll leave that shirt the way, I'll leave the shirt the way it is and I'll just put in the blue dye for my hat. Uh, but back in the day, uh, when me and Revan used to play, uh, uh, Terraria, and we still want to play Terraria still to this day, me and Revan actually used to, uh, uh, one day, a Blood Moon had, uh, a, 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 the Blood Moon event happened, and, well, a clown came and attacked us. Now, being the person I am, I had actually done my research beforehand about this, uh... That's nice. That's a, that's a cool little thing. Uh, a clown had come and attacked us. So, I knew automatically what the clown was because I had done research on the game, like, forever. So when I defeated the clown, I decided to hurry up, grab all the cash I could, gather up all the cash that I was able to, and go and go straight to the closer, as you saw, who was selling these clown outfits. Who was selling these clown clothes. Well, here's the funny thing. I said, hey, Robert, go and check out my new uh, outfit. I sat there and told him, as, as I sat there and told him in chat. I go over to him. And the next thing he told, and the next thing he told me in chat was, "I twitch." I literally had freaked out. Re I believe I freaked out Revan so much that he was lit. That he actually, that his eye twitched in real life from what I heard, which is hilarious. And that his mom actually came up to him and asked him what was wrong. He was like, "Nothing, nothing." And then after that, he told me to. After that, he was just like, you need to take that off. I was like, why? But it's awesome. He's like, take it off. And I still can understand, like, what it was. And I still don't understand this day, still. But it was sort of the funniest thing that me and Revan ever had done in Terraria. Now, you're probably wondering, why didn't I show off the clown outfit? Uh, that, why didn't I show off the clown monster? Well, it happened while I was grinding for core fight. Uh, more, uh, core fight. So 
So honestly, I wasn't expecting it to happen. I'm gonna make sure I check down this path again just to see if there is another orb or planteta orb. There is not a planteta orb. Ooh, what the hell? Why didn't I stop automatically? Ugh, I hope nothing's updating on Steam because I might have to check my Steam. Hold on, let me do that right quick. Oh yeah, something's downloading. Uh oh fuck no. Ew. Uh, uh yeah, something's updating on Steam, so it's actually messing with my uh I was about to fucking say Uh, yeah, something's updating on Steam, so my controls are going to be lagged right there, as you saw. Um, I figured out that's what was happening. Like, whenever I upload or do something, whenever I'm downloading something on my Steam account, it's going to lag up my controls a little bit. So, if it looks like I'm actually still running, even though I'm, like, going, what the hell, that means I've actually let go of my key. I've actually let go of the key to keep running. So, now you're probably wondering, where is this Plantera orb that I talked about? Well, hey, wait a minute, I saw that. I want that. I need that. Ah, for a fight! Damn you controls being laggy! Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna get the fuck out of Dodge, baby. And tonight is actually uh, Tsunami Night. I hope that we are going to have a really good few episodes of whatever's going to happen. Actually, I do know what's going to happen. Also, I have seen the My Little Pony episode with Weird Al Yankovic, and I only have to say this. Cheese Sandwich! Cheese Sandwich is best pony! But also, I've got to say this. Now, I'm not, I'm not upset that over the fact that Weird Al did not write any of the songs that he sung. I more, I'm really not, I can't really say I'm upset because it was still a great episode. I mean, I mean, the fact that Pinky could have went Pink Amina at any time and started killing every pony. Yeah, I'm looking at you guys. I'm looking at you, DHX. Don't ever bring that girl, don't ever bring that pony back. We don't need Pink Amina Diane Pie. We need just the regular Pinky Pie. But yeah, as soon as I saw that pony about to come out, I was like, no, 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 you can't do this to us. We can't go back to the fan fiction. It's not right. Um, how much core fight is that? Ah, oh, not enough. I'm going to leave that alone so it can grow out more. I will take this so I can grow it out. So, honestly, I don't know how this armor is working as it is, uh, but it is pretty a sweet armor. Oh, no, wait, what was I getting ready to talk about? I was actually getting ready to uh, totally fuck over everybody and just start talking about the game again. But, uh, yeah, I I'm not upset over the fact that Weird Al Yankovic did not write any of his songs because uh, if you actually did watch uh, some of the songs he was singing, he pretty much pulled a lot of his, uh, he was pretty much, I mean, it was still, I, I honestly want to thank the writers for at least keeping with the spirit of Weird Al with the spirit of how Weird Al Yankovic does his song. Now, that is a great idea. They did really good on that part, so DHX didn't really fuck up there. But I would have now. I, I'm not saying that the episode would have been better if Weird Al Yankovic wrote his own songs because I don't even honestly. I just don't know if it would have worked. But in my eyes, it would have. I'm just. Uh, I just don't think the fandom would have been like. I, I don't know. 
know about the fandom though, because though a couple of my friends, uh, including uh, the one I usually talk about in my videos, uh, the one who I say is a good friend of mine, and I do mean that every, and I do mean that every time I say that. I'm not just saying that because I'm wanting to be a, because I'm trying to make it sound like he's not like a great guy. He is. Uh, but even he said, like, it would have been cool if Weird Al did write his own, if Weird Al did write his songs. Instead of it just being, like, the generic, uh, instead of it just being the, uh, regular, uh, songwriting stuff. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I even know that it wasn't Weird Al who wrote the songs? Well, that was easy. Mostly because at the end of the episode, I looked at, I was, uh, I paused. I paused right at the music to see if he actually did write any of this stuff. And then when I looked at who the writer was, it was not Weird Al's name. I, which, people are probably wondering, it's like, well, how do you know Weird Al's name? I mean, come on, people, Google it. It's easy. Not being a dick or anything, but still, there are some people out there who are just like, "What well, do you know?" I was like, I googled it. I'm hoping I can actually find the Planetara Orb again because it was a really cool. What the hell? I don't remember this being here. Eh. Thank you for the. Uh... Yeah, I like that potion. I like that potion a lot. Um, god damn it, I think I've lost track again. What was I talking about? What the fuck is that? Well, see, that's the thing. It looks like there's a torch right there, but I don't think that's it. Uh, I know it was near a beehive. That's the only thing I know. That the whole Planetara Orb was actually near a beehive. Ah. Black Arts! I think that's it right down there. I don't know. Maybe. Lobster? Oh, well, there's more chlorophyte right there, so I need that. Because I do want to make that hoverboard, because that would be epic. Is this it? No, it ain't. Shit. I am really liking this, uh, turtle armor. This is really nice little armor to have. Ah! Sorry about that, I sneezed. <laughs> I hate when I do shit like that. No, because for one, it stuffs up my nose, and that makes me sound like I'm sick in my videos, and I don't like that. Oh, one second, you guys. I need to move 
this way, but which one, which way would be faster? Okay, well, I've got no way of going up from here, so we're gonna have to go up and around. Where the fuck am I at again? Okay, here I am. Okay, we're gonna go up over this way and until I find a tree. Remember this, guys. Up, over, until we find a tree, and then that means we're close to the plantar ball. So, like I said, uh, before, um, what was I on about? I know, I've, I'm like, I've switched like so many fucking gears on y'all right, right now, and I feel kind of bad for doing that. And I think we just went to, uh, yeah, we're here we go. I see the tree now on the map. Um, but the whole idea, uh, let's go back to the My Little Pony episode, because I really want to stick with that right now, because I really was, I, I really did enjoy it. And what DHX really did during that uh, during that episode was great. I loved what they did, and and they did amazing jobs. And also, Baby Derpy! Come on, people! Fucking Derpy! Baby Derpy, who was amazing in the episode, she just looked, she just stood there and looked adorable, and I was like, oh! And my brain exploded because of how random Weird Al Yankovic and goddamn Pinkie Pie was in that episode. I mean, it was great. Alright, we're gonna hit this thing. Oh, I gotta hit it with this. Alright, now, we're gonna buff. That way my defense is higher than bullshit. And this is where the fun's gonna happen. Alright, Plantera. I see you coming, baby! You can't do shit against me, buddy. Oh my god, Plantera. What the fuck is going on, Plantera? You better drop me my goddamn awesome shit of awesomeness. Ah, oh god. Oh god. What the fuck happened? Oh my god, it got evil on us. Oh, this is so hard to do now. Come on. Come on! Come on, Plantera! I'm gonna rock you until the sun comes up, baby! Oh shit, oh shit. I need my potion, need my potion. Hail! Yes! Plantera! Screams are echoing through the dungeon. Plantera was defeated. Yes. So we have a temple key and we have a deadly grenade launcher. I do not have any fucking bullets for this thing. Never fucking mind. I have incredible bullets for this thing. Oh, I try it, man. And we have now Fee the Cyborg. And with this, we also have a mythic. I have summoned a fucking pygmy. Oh my fucking god. They gave me like the best fucking weapon. Damn, they gave me like the coolest shit ever with the right fucking shit on it. Okay. <gasps> Armor polish! Holy shit! When the fuck did I pick up armor polish? That's what I want to know. I can summon pygmies. Pygmies will fight for you. Yay, pygmy. Fuck you, pick me. So, we now have a new, uh, oh, hey, we need to go ahead and get him moved into a nice little house. Feed the cyborg. He will move in. Ah, here he is. He is down here on the floor. Hello, Fee. I built myself a taste mechan uh, mechan mechanism. I can, I, so I can drink ale. Mmm. So guys, here's what's cool. We have a grenade launcher, we now have nanites, and now we have the proximity mine launcher. And we also have a goddamn 
great looking staff right here, but again, I don't use magic a whole lot, so it's not really that useful for me. Now, in the next, uh, I will show what he can do on Halloween. We are going to do a little bit of the Halloween cool stuff. I didn't get what I wanted from Plantera, so I'm going to let a couple of the orbs try to grow, and then probably grind Plantera myself later on. Until I pick up the weapon that I desire. It will be mine. Alright, so now I'm going to turn this into Shroomite. Which we got to go to the Auto Hammer for. Hello, Auto Hammer. Hello? Would you like to help me make some, uh, Shroomite? Ah, uh, here we go. My glowing mushrooms. A whole stack of 189. This should be enough to actually create it. I don't know. I apparently ran out of fucking mushrooms before we could have done it. Uh, let's see. Do I got any more? Or could I just go grab some more? Oh, wait. I'm just going to go over here and grab some more. So this means now the dungeon. Uh, not art now. Not the now. There's not the dungeon that awakens after you defeat Blantara. Another our dungeon, the original dungeon, the original McCoy, the badass McGee, the uh, chum, our best friend and greatest ally, our friend the dungeon from back from back then. He has, it has awoken. It has awoken to something new. New enemies, new creatures, new everything have spawned within that world. I think this is enough. I'm going to go check with uh, the official wiki if he is still here with us. Hello again, uh, Jeff. Now, I think you told me that I need... Oh, I only need 18 and the Souls of Flight. So that's good. Oh, wait, this is a material. Now, you remember, uh, there's actually something I ought to tell you now. There are actually other keys in this game. Uh, you remember those, uh, chests from inside? You remember those chests from inside the one play? Uh, inside that, uh, Uh, what do I need for armor polish? Nice. Okay, I've got the vitamins, so I need to go grab those. Uh, actually, we could go ahead and craft the uh, hoverboard now. I need to go do that now. Ah, here's the uh, new armor. This is only for arrow, bullet, and rocket damage. So, if you was wanting to play a really heavy ranged character, this is what you would do. Not me. I go for badass gear. That's badass. Which, this needs to be uh, reforged. I'm going to go check see what the reforge cost is. I do want to get warding for this because it is going to be replacing our angel wings. So the price to reforge is 24 gold and 20 silver. Okay. We can do this. Um, no we can't. Actually, yes we can. I hate really using up a, plat a platinum killing, but it has to be done, my friends. Also, I still love that joke to, uh, none, I want to want, spiked, no, quick, no, yeah, we'll take it for quick for right now, oh god, my damn defense went through shit, my defense went to hell in a handbasket, oh my god, this is so epic now. Oh, that's so cool. Woo! 
Woo, baby. It's the power of love. Now I do have a. Oh, I got. I better take all. I better start taking my quicker, greater potions now. Bitch, please. I have a fucking hoverboard, damn it. That is pretty fucking cool. <laughs> and we, now we can ride out in style. We can ride off into the sunset looking like badasses. Uh, I know I've got a vitamins here somewhere. I'm gonna look for it. <laughs> yeah, we're working straight towards that fucking ank shield. Onks. Onks. Anks. Onks. Inks. Bonks. Inch. Oh, yo. I have no idea, guys. Just to bear with my wild. Alright, so now we have the guarding armor bracing. This means we, if I use this now, I'd be immune to weakness and broken armor. But I say no! We cannot do that yet. We're not ready for that yet. Not yet, my friend. Uh, I'm gonna have to deposit some shit off. There we go. That's hey, exactly what I wanted to get rid of. Actually, not really. I wanna use this for a second. I just wanna see like how good it would be. I'm also going to need the jungle key because we're going to have to unlock something. Oh wait, I can not actually reforge the hoverboard one more time. Uh, see if I can actually get warding on it. Nice, I'm good. Whee! Seriously guys, you can't go wrong with a fucking hoverboard. Don't let anybody tell you you're stupid or wrong about that. You could never go wrong with a fucking hoverboard. Brisk. Not really worth it. Ah, damn it. Ah. I think this acts like... Hold on, my chest this out. If this acts like the angel wings, then we're not going to take any damage. But we're not gonna take any damage. Yeah, it acts just like the angel wings. You cannot be hurt while uh, you cannot you cannot fall to a death. You cannot fall to your death. Which I find that amazing now because that really works greatly. All right, so we're gonna put away my gold and all that, and we're gonna head back over to the dungeon. Our very first, uh, the very first thing that we used to do, uh, the the thing that we had started off with thing that used to give us most trouble we're gonna go in there now with our newfound power and respect god damn it I'm loving this fucking hoverboard right now Wee motherfucker I'm Mickey Mouse motherfucker bitch oh yeah and I still have Ickord on me so all the enemies I've still got three minutes left of Ickord I'm gonna call it Ickers because I don't know what the I don't know the right pronunciation for it is. Somebody's gonna correct me on this. I know somebody is. That's how people are. They like to correct YouTubers. That's how some YouTuber. Uh, that's how some YouTube commenters are. Also, I have a new subscriber. I would like to uh, give a shout out to that guy who had uh, subscribed recently. I hope you enjoy my content and uh, hope you have a good time. And, uh, I hope to get more subscribers, man. I, I'm really enjoying that. Some people are, that, that people are really enjoying what I'm doing. What the fuck was that? Did anybody else see that? That's a wolf. I thought I was going nuts for a second. I was like, that cannot be what I, I was like, what the fuck was that? Oh, you want to glow for me, baby? Yes, you are now infected with gold and showers. Mm, yes. Which is kind of bad now because the spell is completely useless to me. <laughs> the golden shower spell is completely useless to me until I actually... Unless I just want to piss about. Look, I'm pissing. That's what, this is what it means to have golden showers, dammit. So we are back. We are back to the dungeon. 
We are only here to fight enemies and gain new, uh, and, and we're only, we are only here to gain new weapons and new powers. We're really not here for anything else. Also, there's a staff here that I want. Uh, there's actually two weapons I, that are here that I want. And right there's one of our new enemies, the uh, blue armored zombie. Here's another one who just fucking died right in front of me because uh, I killed him off way too fucking fast. Oops. Sorry about that. Uh, where's the blue one at? I knew that blue one's y'all somewhere. <laughs> y'all. There he is. Uh, so these are blue armored zombies. They're new. So are these guys. Hello, Necromancer! You have something I want! Yo, fuck, no, you ain't getting away from me, bitch. Where the fuck's he coming from? Uh, did he drop it? No, he didn't. Ah, damn you, Necromancer! You were supposed to give me the power. Um, that's not new, uh... Uh, what is that guy anyways? Is he a, uh... Ah, oh, yeah, he's a hell-armored zombie. Or hell-armored bones. He dropped the soul of light for some reason. I don't believe that shit. Uh, Alright, there's a regular angry bones. That's a normal enemy for this dungeon. Uh, but we're here to fight these guys. These, uh, bigger guys. These bigger, bigger, bigger guys. Those are here to find some little zombies. I don't know why I'm doing this voice. I don't know, just uh, bear with me for sometimes. Hello? Diabolus? Hello? What the fuck is going on here? Whoa! 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 What the fuck was that? Fly, boy, fly! Fly, fat ass, fly! I still haven't seen all of Mall Rats, but I want to. I know, I should feel bad for not even have seen the whole movie, but it's not my fault the website I went to decided to fuck up on me and not let me see the whole damn thing. Yes, I will blame the website. It's not every. I, I'm guaranteeing right now, every fucking site that shows off uh, movies is like, oh god, which champ, which one was he at? We gotta figure this out, man. I only go to one site really for uh, for my movie needs. And I know, I know somebody's gonna say, well, it's kind of wrong that you watch movies on your computer and not pay for it. I was like, yeah, try not having any cash, buddy. I can't afford to ever go to the fucking movie theaters, which sucks. Because there have been some good movies that I've been wanting to see, but haven't been able to. I just had to get that little bit right there because it would have bugged the hell out of me. It's a Diabolus. A Diabolus. Diabolus fucked my shit up. Did you not see what he did? He just like shot goddamn explosionary fireballs at me. Chest. I don't need whatever. In there. Well, I do need whatever's in there. 
Or I just want whatever's in there. What the fuck is this? Bone Lee! Bone Lee! Get back here, Bruce Lee, bitch! Get back here, Bruce Lee, Roy! Dirty motherfucker coming up in here trying to whoop my ass. Actually, I'm gonna stay right here. Is that goblins playing poker? Wow, this guy's gonna be a real pain in the ass, I can already tell. Ah, never mind. Just gotta stay near the shell. Or, fuck. Never mind. Fuck, it's kinda hard to dodge this guy whenever he basically says, fuck you, I break the rules. And moves every three fucking seconds. And now I gotta wait off until my healing's ready. Oh shit, no, I've got broken armor. That ain't good. No wonder I was taking up so goddamn much damage, man. I have broken armor. Some little bitch in here broke my fucking armor. I'm gonna whoop that guy's ass. Oh, that guy broke my armor. Oh. Oh, oh, thank God that's not really fucking as bad as it used to be. Because that used to be really bad. Bad, bad, bad. Did he drop the shadow beam staff? No, fuck. As long as I don't fuck with anybody right now, I can't really risk it. I can't risk it for the biscuit either. We gotta be careful. We gotta be smart about this. Shit. Definitely don't need one of those guys on me. Why is there a fucking Souls of Light coming up down here? This is a dungeon. Oh, it might be. I might be near Hollow. Fuck. Shit. I'm gonna. God, I really don't like this guy. Alright. I think the gods are trying to tell me something like, Hey, fucking get it back to where it was. Get your shit back to where it was. Oh shit, I should have read that. Oh, here. Sure, me and Captain Bullywort are pals, but I hate it when his parrot does his business on me. That stuff's corrosive. Now, he'll only say that whenever the pirate's near. This is also another line that he'll say only when Vivian is near. So that punk looking chick is the inventor, eh? I think I can show her a thing or two with my dude. I bet myself a taste uh, mechanism, no. Sometimes I come off a bit. You get it? A bit? Oh, the puns. Wow. Sorry, it's my brother texting me. Did you know I was yelling right there and then? Ah, the bad puns! Damn! My expecta uh, my expedition uh, blah, blah, efficiency was critically reduced when a projectile impelled my... I wasn't a venture like... I wasn't a venture like you until I took an arrow to the knee. That's the joke. I'm shitting you not. That's the joke. He literally just did. I used to be an adventurer like you until I took an arrow to the knee joke. That's what that is. I don't want to hear any more of that bullshit. 
And then unit said, uh, then unit 492-8 said, who do you think I am, unit 72-6? Ah, ah, ah! Oh, I don't get it. <laughs> no, really, I don't. What the fuck is so funny? Fuck. Oh my god, I got an idea. Here we go. Adventure time! Come on, grab your friends! Shit. It's adventure time! Come on, grab your friends, and we'll go to very distant lands. Jake the dog and Finn the human. The fun will never end, adventure time! Oh, shit. Hold on, you're about to. I'm about to do something really crazy. I'm gonna actually. Psychic powers. I was reading what he wrote to me and I was just being silly and stupid. He probably thinks I'm being a jackass, but I'm not. Which is hilarious. Whee! I really love this fucking hoverboard, man. This is the best shit ever. I think I'm all, yeah, I was about to say, hold on, I'm going to do this right. Ah, nice, we landed right here at the dungeon, people. We was not totally about to overshoot the shit. Alright, I'm going to take one of my iron skin potions, just, uh, I don't have a fucking iron skin potion. God damn it, I left my iron skin potions back at the house again. <laughs> What's that tell you about me? I, I forget shit sometimes. Now, the idea was that I was going to take one of my iron skin potions, then run into fucking dungeon. That was one of the old enemies. Angry Bones. I don't need you. The only guy I'm really not wanting to... The only guy that's really going to get to me... Hey! That's a new zombie. That was a fucking rocket launching zombie. You didn't drop it, you dick. Now you're probably wondering why am I grinding so much in this fucking, in this godforsaken hellhole of a place. Well see, there's a couple of things here. One, the broken sword, the broken hero sword fragments are here. So that means I don't have to wait until a solar eclipse to just get one. And that was, I think, a... I don't know. I think that was Bruce Leroy. Ectoplasm! Yay, we finally have it. Bruce Lee's trying to fuck me up. Fuck you, Bruce Lee. Fuck you, Bruce Lee. Run! I better be careful when killing these guys off, because if I see that weapon show up, I'm going to be really pissed. No, fuck. No! Shit! Some shit up! Yes! Let's get in here! Holy shit! Oh fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Fuck you! Fuck you, buddy! Awesome, I need that ectoplasm. And yes, the normal enemies will still show up here in the dungeon. It's still their house, but they just invited guests and said, Hey, we have this guy who usually shows up from time to time, and we need to have his ass fucked up. Oh, great. It's the Diabolus again. Sup, Diabolus? You wanna try to whoop my ass again? Not this time, buddy. Oh shit, I need a potion bad. I need a potion! Alright, you 
you gotta be careful in this kind of dungeon. I mean, you're not gonna really. I can't believe that Souls of Light and Souls of Night are coming down out here. Oh shit, I'm bleeding. I just noticed that. Oh, and look at me standing right here in the room with the water candle. Oh shit. God, my stupidity has no bounds, does it? I'm gonna shut this door because I don't think spells could get through. Watch this be my downfall from right now. This will be my fall from grace right here. And you're probably wondering. Uh, okay. Now I did say I was gonna set up those teleporters later. But the thing of it is, I'm not gonna set them up until I can collect some wire. And you're probably wondering where am I gonna get wire from? Fuck. Damn, damn. Soul shot. So, the thing of it is, is, uh, a ragged caster, that's what he was. Mm, so, you're probably wondering is, what are these ectoplasm for? And I've only got two, which kind of sucks, but I'm not really complaining because I'm going to guess it's a really rare item. This is how you can get the specter armor. This is what you also need core fight bars for. Fuck, I just remembered I might need it for this. No. Ghost wings. I. This is what I need it for. I need at least five ectoplasm for that. I need at least five ectoplasm for that, and I need souls of fright. I don't have souls of fright, but I don't even have this. Cons summons the frost moon. You're probably wondering what happens during the frost moon. And what happens during the pumpkin moon? Bullshit happens. That's what happens. And hey, motherfucker, please. Bitch, please. Does it really need an explanation? Oh shit, there he is. No. God, I wish I had both my hands free for this right now. I'm literally texting and playing this game at the same time. That's a really world record feat at doing this. I usually, you, there, this is gonna be a terrible, fuck me. New boss. And I'm going home after. I'm gonna have to go home. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna get this done. And I'm gonna go ahead and, uh. I need to go grab my iron skins. Uh, because I'm gonna need that defense buff. And. I need to hurry up and grab them before they show up. And they're probably wondering. I bet you're probably wondering to yourself, who is they? They is an evil son of a bitch named. Twins. Stay off me, booty, you scallywag. Yes. We have new shit. Yeah. You're looking at it. You're looking at what I'm seeing right now. You are seeing what you're seeing. He is selling a bunny cannon and explosive bunnies. Yeah, really think about that one, guys. Alright, I'm gonna go uh, get to a safe spot away from uh, away from the NPCs so they can actually not be killed. Yeah, there they are! Hello! Like I said, not one by two! I will fucking defeat the twins, baby! I'm that much of a badass. No, that's right. One, oh, they will not come at me at the same time. How the fuck did I do that? That's not what I did. I didn't do that. I want my scythe out. Oh, 
I will pay the Nasak original. Holy shit, yeah, he is mad. His brother's not gonna be really that hard as soon as I kill off this guy. He's done. You cannot run for me now. You, that is bullshit. That is bullshit and you know it. Fuck, he just got angry. You come back the fuck down here and you fight me like a goddamn man. Oh, there we go. Like I said, not one, not two, but three bosses in one go. Hello. You come the fuck back here and you fight like a goddamn boss. Oh, now I see how I did that. You come down here and you fight like a motherfucking boss. You are not gonna do this pussy ass shit on me, motherfucker. Get the fuck down here. I'm not dealing with your shit. You get the fuck back here. Your shit don't scare me. I know your brother, I have Cthulhu. Motherfucker. So now we have gained a new soul called the Souls of Sight. These souls are powerful. And if I remember correctly, they actually give me something really cool that I've always wanted in this game. There we go. Yeah, I gotta refill the hole, guys. There we go, that's good enough. Alright, we're done here. I do like the trophy I just got, so we're gonna hang this up in our new wall. Until later. Until a later date. Until uh, I build the... Uh, until I do my big build, which won't happen for a while. Alright. So, I think it's Souls of Sight, or I need the Souls of Fright. It might be the Souls of Fright, me and me. Knowing how stupid I forget things. Actually... Oh my fucking god, can we actually... Yes, we can. Yes, we can do this. Uh, the Magical Harp I'm never gonna build because I don't need it. This I do want. Alright, so, first things first, we need to go up to the wizard, because he's got the first thing that we need. A bell, for one gold. The next thing that we need, yes. Uh, I'm also going to quick stack all my uh, good shit. Next thing we need, some pixie dust. The third thing that we need. Souls of Light. We can. For the first time. Craft a fairy bell. This is the fairy. As you can tell. It only comes in one color. Never mind. It comes in several different colors. But let's go with, uh, not you, you. Does this fairy not look familiar? Hey, hey, look, listen, listen. Shut up, Navi. Never, I am never that mean to Navi. Don't ever be that mean to Navi. Navi is a good fairy. Bitches. Bitches. So this is the first time I have actually got to craft that. That's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm happy about that. Now there's actually something I want to look at for what I need. Actually, let me take this right quick because I know it's got to deal with the bottle. Uh, so we're just about to bring up every recipe for a fucking bottle. Never 
of mine. Guess it's not. That's weird. Alright, let's put that back. Now we can't reforge again. I'm gonna try this again. You can't see it right now, but I just flipped off the damn. I just flipped off the game. Yeah, I need a hunt. I need 240 mana. Yeah. Way to go, game. So hey, we got to do a couple of things in this episode today. I'm happy. I'm glad. I'm excited. I feel sexy at the same time. Mm, yes. Oh yes. So, I think it's time to end this episode off. In the next episode, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to head back towards the dungeon. We're going to look for the key. We're going to look for the thing that has to use this key. I'm going to grind Pantera. I'm going to grind Plantera some more. We are down to, no wait. Three hardcore mode bosses. Hmm. We are down. Three hardcore mode bosses. How many more bosses are left? Will I defeat them in the... Will I defeat them? What the fuck are you asking that for? Of course I'm gonna defeat them. I'm a bad, I'm a bona fide badass motherfucker. And before you ask us, these are supposed to be the fairies from Legend of Zelda. And if you actually get too far away from them, there you go. They'll automatically resummon right behind you. These are supposed to be a great source of light. Um, you actually take it into here, like with you. You can actually, it will actually be a greater light source than you will ever know. Except for me, who likes to use fucking torches everywhere. Yeah, oh, baby. So, if you like this episode, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. If you didn't, that's fine. I mean, really, guys, you ain't hurting my feelings. You ain't hurting my feelings any by not uh, liking my episode. For not, uh, for not enjoying my episode. I mean, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to be a good commentator here. I will see you in the next episode. Yeah, baby.